Hello friends, today we are going to see how to check the mirror of a binary tree. So, so what is the mirror of a binary tree? So, I will tell you the definition. For every node in a tree, in its mirror, the left child will be the right child. Means, for example, for A, its left child is B and in the mirror of this tree for A this left child has converted to its right child. So the left child is right child here and the right child C is left child here. So that is the mirror of a binary tree means for every node in the binary tree the left child becomes right child for a node and the right child becomes left child for that node. So let's see how to write a program for this. So for writing program we have these five conditions. By using these five conditions we can write a recursive program for checking the mirror of a binary tree. So Logically, I will tell you all the conditions. So, see, if you have written a function and consider that these two are your parameters. So, I will make it P1 and P2. So, parameter 1 and parameter 2. This is the first binary tree. This is the second binary tree. And you want to check whether this tree is mirror of this tree or vice versa. So, now check. If the first parameter is null and the second parameter is also null. So this means that the subtree or the tree is null. So obviously this null is a mirror of a null. So null is always a mirror of null. So we have to return true for this condition. Means this is correct. Now the second condition if you have a node here and here it is null means you have a node and the other parameter is null so obviously a node is not equal to null so we have to return false so this condition will, re will return false now yes the first parameter is null and the second parameter is a node so that is also false so that will return false for example suppose for d here is a node uh, j so d's left child that is j should be right child here but here it is null so this will return false because that says that this is not the mirror of this tree or this tree is not mirror of this tree because the nodes are different. So this will return false. Now you have j here and on the right of d the node is present but it is not j. For example it is u. So even if the node is present the left node of uh, d and right node of uh, D in this mirror are present but the data is different means here it is J but here it is U so it is false we have to return false now comes the condition where the data is also equal means if it is J here then here also it is J the data is also same now you can see this tree is a mirror of this tree or vice versa. So we return true. And if there are some nodes to J or there are some children to J like H, K, K, H for example, then we pass those nodes for further checking means we pass these nodes we pass this subtree 
for checking so the left child of this node the left child will be checked with the right child of the node in the mirror because see the left child of b here is d which is the right child of b in the mirror so we have to check the left child of b with the right child of b in the mirror so we pass uh, left subtree of that node to check with the right subtree or uh, right subtree of the node in the mirror in the mirror tree in the is mirror function and the right child of the node with left child of the same node in the mirror in the function is mirror to check if those subtrees are equal or not so let's see the program here <coughs> so see if so that is the first condition if both are null we return true then if one of them is null if one of them is null not both are null only one of them is null then we return false because that is these two conditions 2 and 3 then if r1 gives data is equal to equal to r2 data means the this is the condition in which data is not equal so if these data are not equal then it will go down and it will return false if they are equal then it will go inside and will check left with the right child of the sim, uh, of the same node in the mirror so we check if is mirror function is called recursively so left with the right child and again is mirror function right child with the left child of the same node in the mirror so if they both return true means if this left subtree is equal to the right subtree and right subtree is equal to the left subtree then we return true so this is how we check the mirror of a binary tree thank you hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you